What up guys, it's Marty. So today on, uh, you know, with Marty Coffee's YouTube channel, we got this uh, cold brew coffee that I made in the, in the Taki cold brew ma coffee maker. And then I got me a nitro cold brew coffee keg from Royal Brew. You see that guys, Royal Brew, Royal Brew. And uh, then we also got some uh, nitrous containers from Growler Works, you know. So I think these Growler Works are from Portland, Oregon, you know. I ain't sure, but I think that's where the company is from. So anyway, what I assume I need to do is pour this into this, then put this into here, and ba ba bam ba bam uh, It like turns into cold brew nitro coffee. So we're just gonna see if that's what I'm supposed to do, because full disclosure, I don't really know what I'm doing. Don't really know what I'm doing. All right, so let's see. Also, because I threw away the instructions. So, oh, you're also supposed to wash this out before you, uh, after you get it. So that's what I did. I washed it out and I put the straw in there, or like the hose. So, put that aside. Then you got this guy. And you just pour it in there. I don't think you pour a lot though. Because you gotta leave room for the nitrous. Cause you guys know I've been drinking a lot of energy drinks lately, and they cost a lot of money. You know, usually like a buck fifty or two bucks a pop. You know, so this is gonna hopefully save me lots of money. So we're just gonna see. Anyway, guys, if you're getting value out of this, make sure you smash that like button. You know, and subscribe. You know, screw it back on all nice and tight. Alright, it's on all nice and tight. So, then, you gotta unscrew this daily. So, unscrew that. Put that aside. And then guys, you gotta get yourself one of these uh, uh, nitrous containers, or nitro, is it? these are called nitro charges. You know, it says N2O for cold brew coffee. You know, growler works, growler works. All right, and then I assume you just pop this guy in here, but here we go. Uh-oh, guess it doesn't fit guys. So, so that don't fit, that don't fit. So, uh, well guys, good thing I also got me some uh, other uh, nitrous things. So, be right back, right back. Ah, right, guys, so I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So these guys, <coughs> I got a box of these, uh, what's it called? Whippets, you know, whippet. And two O uh, cream charges. These are for you know that professional grade whipped cream. You see, so all right. I guess it's actually so these guys are just this, this size, and uh, you know, so we're just gonna see if uh, these things will work. So you know, plop it in there, and then you just plop it in here, and then you wait for to hear that sound. I guess. Uh, it should be like a hissing sound, I think. Alright. So it's in there, so now I guess it's charged up. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna put this in the fridge for an hour, and then we're gonna come back and see if it's all good, if it's all good. Alright, so, to be continued. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Alright guys, alright guys, so I'm back, I'm back. So my fridge, I just looked to see, the, put this in the fridge, because some guy's like, hey, put it in the fridge for like an hour. My fridge, it got too much stuff in it right now, and it's uh, like too short, so it's not tall enough to fit this. 
So I'm just going to show all you, you know, if it's actually working. And then I'm going to rearrange my fridge later on so I can put it in there. Alright guys, so this is what we got, you know, we got the, to recap, we used the Taki, I think it's pronounced Taki, cold brew coffee maker, you know, you can find it on Amazon. I'll leave all the links in the description below so you can find them all. And uh, then we got these uh, Growler Works nitro charges for cold brew coffee, but guys, these do not work with this. So do not get these if you buy one of these. If you buy the Growler Works cold brew coffee cake, I guess, they work with those. But I got the, the what was it called? The Brew King one. You see? Brew King. That's the one I got. So, uh, then I went out and got these uh, Whippets. You see? Whippets. They uh, whip cream charges for, you know, like fancy whipped cream. Like professional grade whipped cream. So anyway, guys. Uh, you got your uh, Brew King. You got your, your uh, mug. So then you just take off the little drip thingy. And you see if it's... Alright, so I think that I need to put actually like two of these nitro things in there because this right here doesn't look like it's all that foamed up because it's supposed to look like a Guinness. But you know, pretty good. You see that? So, I'll give her a try. Give her a try now. First impressions. Get a smell. Oh, it smells pretty good. Alright, let's see. Oh man, guys. This right here, this gets that ba bam ba bam ba bam for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I mean, you can see how there's a little twoppiness, you know, like a Guinness. But uh, me personally, I think I was supposed to take the put the charge in, and since these are small, because uh, where did that guy go? So this guy right here, this size. The other guys, this size. So I think I was supposed to put two of these to equal like one of these but you know really don't know really don't know i'm gonna have to research it some more and uh yeah so final thoughts on all this stuff guys incredible incredible if you uh are trying to kick the the sugars but you want that twaffiness get yourself the 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 uh, was a brew king uh nitro cold brew coffee maker thing you know you just need yourself a, a taki so you can brew the cold brew and then you put it in here, you put the nitrous thing in, and then ba-bam, ba-bam, ba-bam. But full of scores, guys, this takes like at least a day to do. At least a day for like prep time because this needs to be in the fridge for like, like 12 to 14 hours overnight. And then you put it in here, and then you're supposed to put this in the fridge, you know, like uh, for like at least an hour or whatever. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. But, you know, still works out for me. Works out for me. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video on, uh, you know, with Marty Kaufman. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, you know, take care of yourself, be kind to one another, you know, keep spreading those good vibes only, and yeah, Marty out. Boop.